Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on the Audi TT. Today we are going to get this thing done. Okay, so as you can see, the engine is almost back together in its entirety. There's still a few bits and pieces I need to do, like Jubilee clips on these kind of hoses. Still need to work out where a few of them go. I've still got to put in the drive shafts. I've still got to fill up with all the fluids. So today I'm just going to crack on and try and get everything finished. So I'm pretty sure everything's now back together, apart from the drive shafts, which I'm not too worried about doing just yet. I need to clean the floor before I can scoot on underneath the car. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill up all the fluids. I'm going to fill up the coolant, oil, check everything there, uh, check the brake fluid, probably have to give that a top up, and then hopefully we'll actually be able to give it a start.
so it runs and it starts a damn sight better than what the old engine did obviously with this one that actually has compression it actually runs properly so all that's left for me to do now is literally get every single piece back together on this car and then we can actually drive it out of the garage just picked up the TT from LRP who have been absolutely amazing they've managed to bolt the downpipe on for me they have connected the air conditioning pipes they've charged the air conditioning up and now it runs absolutely spot on there's still a couple of bits that I need to do I think the power steering pump has got a slight leak um, and also I think they need to re-bleed the coolant system I haven't really done it since I put it all back together I literally just chucked it LRP and wanted them to get it MOT'd I have painted the front grille I've done that one, I just need to do the other two. I've also given the front end um, a quick polish. I've cleaned up the engine bay as best I can, made sure I got rid of all the gunk and stuff out of all the corners. This front wing I've polished. We even have a functioning driver's window now. No more wet driver's seat. I haven't bolted the door card together completely because this one's actually damaged. As you can see, the door pocket has been ripped off at some point. So I have two new door cards to come, so they'll match with that. That one's actually in good condition, but I'm just gonna do them both as well, because the ones that I've seen, or the ones that are gonna get delivered are in absolutely fantastic condition. Also, I have now fitted a new Pioneer stereo. I haven't wired it up just yet because I need to get the adapter wires, but I wanted to test fit it because I wanted to make sure that this slid down and actually fitted with the new stereo in place which it does like i said earlier we've also even got air conditioning that works which is an absolute fantastic addition i'm really happy because obviously when i took this engine apart somebody had just left all the pipes unattached so i was actually worried that the air conditioning wouldn't work however it's been gassed up and it seems to work a treat there's still one or two things i'd really like to get done and um, the pixels on this centerpiece here are starting to go and I want to get this car pretty much perfect also if you watch the rev counter when it falls down as you can see it stops it's really juddery um, also when you've got the lights on the back lights flicker a little bit so again I'm just gonna get this sent away and hopefully get it repaired <laughs> Finally, the Audi TT is nearing completion. I can actually see the light at the end of the tunnel. I never thought I'd get to this stage. This car has fought me every step of the way and it's just been a nightmare from start to finish. However, she's now running right. She's now road legal. There's just a few little bits and pieces I want to get done, like obviously send away the dash and get that repaired, fit the new door cards and just genuinely give it a good tidy up. So until then, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.